Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the World of Risk. Global Domination, I'm Kilted, a.k.a. Chicken Alfredo from Barbados. We're going to be playing on the map Italy today. We're going to be playing a World Domination game, six players. Let's jump into it. I'm the blue player. I got some uh, Alfredo type of hair. Okay, five players in a bot. Belton Bello didn't have the balls to click. Ready. We're blue. Okay, we're looking at the Italy map. I'm in the third position. I've got a bunch of troops up here. I want to get a bonus. Bonuses on Italy are as follows. Okay, what? This is neat. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got two, three bonus, like two bonuses that are a three. Other than that, it's a two, three, four, five, six, seven. Neat. Never knew that before. We're going to be playing. So world domination on Italy. Easy AI. 60 second turn timers. Alliances are on. Uh, fixed cards, of course, and no fog, no blizzards, no portals. He's already hit a red two stack. What is the bot going to do? Oh, man, he's hit my two stack. So orange is an over attacker going for the Austrian Empire for plus seven. Not smart. Not going to be good for him. Black probably, before his turn even happens, probably loses his two in free states and his three in Genoa. I have a strong suspicion the red bot's going to put in and try to take the bonus right here. Purple makes this eight. He's going to take the island bonus, I bet you. I wonder if black stops him with his five. Get a bad dice roll? Bad dice roll? No, perfect dice roll. Okay. So for me, I want to kind of get my five away from this guy because he's crazy. What do you... What is this roll? That's not the roll you want. Are you crazy too? I only got three troops on the first turn. What do I do with them? Uh, I want to leave my six here because I want to force the bot to roll black. He brings that out. Okay. Um, where do I take my card? I could break purple. I could definitely break purple. Try to get orange to roll the three before my five over here. I go pop, pop, and then back. I break purple and force the bot to hit something. No, I don't need to break purple. I want somebody else to break them. Let's go. Make this a seven and a six. And I'm going to take a card here. Now I want the bot to roll black. So I'm going to bring this back here. There's a chance the bot double rolls him here. I, I feel like the bot wants this bonus. No, it's going this way. It actually might five on two, five on three, though. Okay, five on... Oh, okay. It's not doing what I thought. No, it... Really? The bot is also making a play for the Austrian Empire? Or or it's a bot that just wants a lot of territories and doesn't care about bonuses. Most bonus... Uh, okay, most bots are bonus taker bots. This is... This is going in the direction I wasn't expecting. Heavy into a bonus it wasn't heavy in. I thought I thought I was manipulating it into hitting black and black. A lot of the times that might even be true. So now maybe I theoretically can bring my five through and I can aim for this bonus. The Northern Italy bonus plus five is pretty nice. Uh, Black's adding troops everywhere. This is weird. Is there a way I can get somebody to hit purple before purple gets his bonus? He thinks this is a bonus hold, but white has a five here. He wanted the Adriatic coast. What's this roll? Oh, that's great for me. I tried to ally him. I wanted him to pop this. No, that's in my way. Uh... Okay, so I'm trying to ally orange or white. Well, white, preferably. I wish you allied me earlier. I want you to break purple's bonus, right? We don't want to give purple a nice little plus two. Do we... Do we attack purple? Thumbs up or... Thumbs down. Let's see how it goes. I love this map. This is a cool map. And we're playing fixed world dom, right? So a lot of this is going to come down to don't make too many enemies. But also I kind of want to fight. You know me, I like to fight. Orange gets three. Black, white, and orange. This bonus is going to be hard. The bot's getting forced, right, to this side of the map. We're pushing it over to the east. It's not even on the left side. 
Uh, no monster today. We're drinking pre-workout. That's because it's later in the day. I already had a monster. Please hit the three and not my five. Please? We're allied. Some people care about alliances. Some don't. He's really hurting. 14 troops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit purple. Hit purple. <laughs> Purple's going to come up and slapper dog him. He's going to go down to like nine troops. <clears throat> so I need to position a lot of troops right here, getting ready to kill him. Oh my god, he's crazy. This guy's a wild, wild boy. Big fan of you doing stuff like that. Five's not pointing at me. Yeah, I definitely need to make this an eight so I can make it an 11. If, uh, like, the red bot might even feed him to me. <clears throat> but black, white. Uh, everybody goes before me after the bot, though. But the bot's immediately after me. Purple's going here. He's going to retake his bonus, presumably. Maybe he doesn't. General Bajaj. Uh, so we got Cassie Takayama from Germany. General Bajaj, United States. I'm uh, Chicken Alfredo from Barbados today. And we got Dovtak from uh, Germany as well. And then the white player, the final fuse, United States. Uh, he's fortified. He didn't even take the bonus, baby. Oh, daddy time. Okay. So, uh, does black go left? Uh, I like the seven being here to have a position to work on orange in case orange doesn't get knocked out of here. Because he didn't get knocked out, right? I kind of want this five to have access out in a way that can maybe get out and help me with orange if I go for the orange kill. So how do I do that? I probably... Make this a seven and this a six. I, I don't think bonuses seem to be happening right now. So I'm going to go this way so I can come out through this one if I have to. Actually, if I bring this back, red's going to keep swinging in here, right? Red's not going to break. Red's not going to hit my... Oh, I have two dudes. Can't even get all my thoughts. What is... <laughs> come on. Oh, no. Five on two. <clears throat> six on three. Six on one. Oh, that's going to block my seven, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tasty time. Good. Beautiful. And three on one. Oh my god, orange is hurting, bro. He's gonna get a third card. Do I just kill him? Black's hurting. This is good. Yoink, yoink, yoink. He's gonna get a third card and do what? If he rolls a three or something? Like, if he puts it over here, I... I there's a world in which I just kill orange for his three cards. Which would trigger the dude trade, because you know he's not gonna give me the good stuff. Does Black go for that bonus, knocking the white five out? He does. Doesn't even get good dice on it. Huh. Now do I take that bonus, or do I do something else? God, white is, or orange is so free. He's got six troops and two cards, dude. He's going to have nine troops and three cards, and that's if he doesn't lose troops attacking, or doesn't get hit again. Is <clears throat> purple try like nobody can trade to kill him though. Everybody's on two, so I'm the only one that's really set up to try to kill him. Purple's getting in a war with white. Like I could go for the kill into a trade into the bonus. What's he swinging at? Lose Oh, he's just going this way. Is that it? 10 on 7 would suck. I don't want to do a 10 on 7. Shit. Yeah. 10 on... Like, if I could have got a, a 9 on 5. Like, he had a 5 or something. If he put some troops over here and took a card, I could have definitely got him. Putting him over here and not hitting a 3 or a 2. And just making that a 7 makes it harder, right? I need a 12 on 7 to have 100%. 11 on 7 would be very high. 10 on 7 is is, is weak, right? I could theoretically make this a. S Never mind. That was dumb. <clears throat> we already expected it a purple though. Black's like, hmm. Yeah. Now I maybe commit to this. I leave this corner and commit to this kill. Problem is, I'm going to be inside of the bot. I was thinking about making this an 8 and coming through and then slow rolling the blitz and then double stack hitting it. 
The seven would have to go through a two, a one, a one, and a seven to get in there and get a good couple slow rolls. I could just try a 10 on seven blitz. I could also just buff this up and try to take this bonus, but I can't trust purple. Oh, this is tough, man. I could also break black, but I don't know if I should. <clears throat> we just try it. 85. Loses. Huh. Okay. We try it. 6 0 -oh -oh! Lucky, lucky. Oh, ho, 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 ho. the luck. The luck. Now I need a cavalry and a... Big boy. No, it's a dude trade. I knew it was going to be a dude trade. After all that, I knew it. Tempted to hit purple, but maybe I'll just stay over here. Hmm. No. Stay over here. Uh, okay, I have triple artillery, so I can just trade the three artillery and survive. 85% roll, of course, I lose, but then I get it back with the one dice on the two. Black's gonna get to hold that. My problem is gonna be, be now. Okay, maybe red is a bonus taker and it only wants the Austrian Empire, which is gonna be a big problem for an eight stack sitting in the middle there. <clears throat> Black's the first player to actually get to hold a decent bonus. Got seven troops to start. This is gonna be a really tough game. I had to lose the eighty-five percenter and then win the like five percenter. <laughs> I don't. Oh uh, yeah. Now he's gonna buff his bonus and hold it. He's gonna take this one and then three-way guard. Smart. Okay, if you don't break... Pur I actually don't want him to break purple, theoretically. Right? Because purple's crazy. Purple will hit him first. And I like that, because black's strong and smarter. Right? Purple's a crazy person. What? That was not a good roll. Big fan of you doing bad rolls. Also giving me a one to hit. That's not in the bot's bonus. So I'm just going to trade stack my eight for now. And try to survive, right? <clears throat> so white's gonna take his bonus now. Not purple's left. Does purple break black or does he just take the middle of Italy? It's a plus six, right? Italian Peninsula. This is Sicily, right? Yeah. Sicily's the end of the boot that gets kicked. I learned that from what? Watching a Bronx Tale, I think. I just watched a Bronx Tale for the first time. I've been wanting to watch it for years. Finally paid YouTube the five bucks to rent it. Watched it on the weekend. <clears throat> doesn't break black, doesn't take the bonus. Okay. Interesting. So I'm going to trade. I could zero card, but I'm not. I need to take cards. Oh, he does take the bonus. I'm not going to care. What you, what's this? <clears throat> You're cheering. Cool. Uh, we trade, because I am not looking to die. Make a 19 stack. I want to be in a position to kill somebody. Time is right. Actually, if I have a 19 stack here, I can force red to add and then swing into other things if it trades. And if it doesn't trade, it might still hit this four. I think I'm going to hit this red one, because it so I'm trying to force the red bot to take another card and weaken itself. So it may three on one, which weakens it. It could lose that roll. It might also six on four. Okay, it does have a trade. Oh, that five might get toasted. Might six on four. It's going to hit the one. Damn. But that might cause the six on four to happen. Okay, goes into purple. Does. Okay, good. Suck it. So the bot had a trade on three. That's unfortunate for me, but also it's okay because it's over here causing mayhem. Uh, as long as I get cards and stay strong and out of the way, not worth killing, I can still survive and win this. It was such a ridiculous game, the one on two dice rolls to survive and get a dude trade. And I... <laughs> Another classic risk game of funzos. Oh, he just smacks the white five to get this bonus? And this bonus? Oh my God, this guy's a loony. There's no way people are going to be happy about that. Wowzers. <clears throat> so white has the big trade. Is it his turn to go Ramdingle Black? 
Does he kill me for one card? <laughs> that would be kind of hilarious. He's just hitting the red three. And backing up. Knocks red out away from his border. Okay, interesting. I could do a reach around sweep and try to take this bonus. I think the bot would be breaking me, though. <laughs> Why don't you hit black? That'd be lovely if you did. Oh, you pop, 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 pow. No, you could do this right through the ones. I mean, I don't like you, but I'm still offering you an alliance. What are you going to do? Try to take this bonus and hold it again? Sure. I would much rather be the have than the have not. I'm currently the have not. He's not going to break left. He's going to go here. Not split because he doesn't know how. Or does he? He does. And then goes into black. Doesn't go into black. He's going to let black hold a plus four and a plus five. Black's going to get 13 troops on his turn. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, well, white stack doesn't have access to me, so let's keep that as a thing. Because there's 19, can't go through either of these ones. So as long as the bot doesn't go down here and open it, good. I have a cavalry and a dude, so if I get an artillery, we're laughing. I have a plus two in this neighborhood. I do, but it opens white. <clears throat> so what does black do with this giant pile of troops he's about to get? If, if black and purple have a good alliance for a while, I will be surprised. Purple kind of full suicided right in the early game. I have a feeling there's going to be bad blood between them at some point. I'm the single stack Asia guy, but I'm not actually in Asia. Yeah, look at these sixes guarding. Purple's not going to trust all that, I don't think. Six, 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 nine. It hits the nine on two. Interesting. So I'm going to be in a position to kill the bot at some point. I don't actually care about the bot. The bot, it started as a bot, so I don't really... It doesn't matter for rank points, right? It's a five-player game as far as the game is considered. And one humor's, human's dead. He's a fifth. So I'm playing for top four now out of a five-player game. Is white going to take this bonus too? I don't think that works. Red's going to take a card there. Black's going to take a card there. Play on two. He's leaving threes. That's odd. Huh, okay. Does purple take one? What does purple do? I'm curious. Let me see. What does the boy purple do? You have a bunch of troops to place. You're starting with 11. You've got a 15 stack. You can daddy slap the whole board. You were all... No, yep. Defensive borders. Okay. <laughs> I just need to be alive in this game when the fireworks start, right? And it's possible I won't be, but let's see. Keeping a little stack up there. I mean, the red bot's going to keep rolling everything I can, right? As long as my 20's here... This stuff can't roll anything, so it's going to have to roll the 3, the 6, this 1, this 6, this 6. It's going to have to roll whatever it can. It can't roll the 20. He doesn't fight anybody. Curious. Do I open the 19? He doesn't have a trade, but he could kill me if I open the 19. I need an artillery right now. Just as good. I also have a special little plus two right here. Not that I'm going to get to use it, but <clears throat> maybe I do. So this eight hits the one splits. Black's now going to be card blocked, essentially. No, he's got this red one. Shit. Looks up the 50 troops. Me having a big trade now might just save me. He gets the dude trade. Suck it. I can't believe, so purple was like super aggro suicide tendencies, and then 
And then he's completely chilled at this point, which is very shocking to me. Oh, he's going right into white. Because white... Wait. I Yeah, why? I mean, I'm cool with it. And now he's doing other stuff? I'm a little bit confused at what's going on here. Because white's 19 is pointed directly at him after he just smacked a bunch of them. It would be... Like, white could kill me. He's the only one that's ever had a chance to actually just kill me. Maybe purple did at some point, but... It would be a terrible move for him. And black's putting nine in his face. It would be an absolutely terrible move for him to do it. <clears throat> the bot's on 15, so I'm not going to trade and kill the bot for three. It would be like a net neutral, right? I need to not be weak sitting on three cards. I could be a little stronger sitting on one card. Maybe kill the bot for four if it's weaker and it gets an extra card next turn, right? If it doesn't trade. He actually doesn't. Kamikaze. So purple's now the next person that has a chance to kill me. He'd have to go through a 1, 1, 3, or an 8. With a 31 stack. And it's still, it's, for him, it's also not fucking worth. So, uh, I don't think he would. He'd be very weak here. The 20 is the only thing holding him all together. Yeah, he's going to keep doing this little border buffing thing. Which, okay, cool. You guys are either going to be friendly together, or you're not. <clears throat> I don't think the border buffing is really going to influence that too much. Now, if he smacks a bunch of red with the 8 stack, maybe? No, I don't think he does. Maybe it's one of the 3s. But I don't think I kill it for 12 for 3. I don't want to be that weak. Now, he could fail kill it. That would be lovely. Not, or hit the 6 on 4, or the 6 on 3. Hit something more. No, that's it. Okay. <laughs> We trade. You might be like, save the wild. <laughs> Hell no, bro. <laughs> Hell no. Hell to the no. I could card skip, but I'm going to take a card. I could do this and trap the black nine against the white and bring this three out. I like that. I'm out. I'll bring this three away from white's border so black can do a reach around sweep in if he wants. I did get the artillery, so if I didn't trade, I would have got to keep the wild. <laughs> Purple accepted my alliance to break it, and then he offered another alliance. No, oh, and red had to trade on three. Oh, daddy Tom! <laughs> red had to trade on three and smack black. Oh, what a good time. And now Purple accepted my alliance, I think accidentally broke it, and then offered an alliance. And then sends me a thumbs up. Alright, General Bajaj. I'm just sitting on 37 troops. It's fine. It's fine for now. He's... Oh, my God. So it's a breaker bot, not a taker bot, right? Because the bot could have traded and added and hit this 6, hit this 8. Could have hit a bunch of stuff going for that bonus, but it broke black instead. And now he's suiciding the red bot because he's mad at it. Tell me you're... Okay, you're going into white, right? Yes, okay. But you're not going to make it into purple. So purple's just going to keep getting stronger. Oh, you're going hard into white. Like, white's had this bonus. He's at 28 troops. He's not doing great. Like, if white doesn't trade and suicides a bunch of stuff, I could kill white for cards and trade. Always pay attention to stuff like that, right? I have enough of a stack to kill white. If white runs the table and suicides into black, right? Oh, great dice. Purple's going to destroy everything. Purple is just, like, sitting back laughing right now. <laughs> I thought purple was going to be the guy going crazy, but it's not. Wow. Okay. So his six is sitting in the back of black. Obviously, black's going to trade and do something. Is he going to also take his bonus? It hits the, the one, the four, the one, 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 right? Like, full little reach around sweep down here. Knocks black out of the whole pocket. Doesn't hit the one. He's thinking. He doesn't want to. He's down to 30 troops. He's going to have a fourth card. Yeah. Now, Black's going to trade and kill 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 of his troops. He might sit on just this 19 stack. 
with four cards. And I might consider killing him to take that corner and then hope black and purple fight. <clears throat> Purple's at 67 troops. 17 stack. He's going to kill the bot for one. Not smart, but like I... This guy could do whatever the hell he wants. He's very big right now. Oh my god, he's actually going to? <laughs> Loses one troop on a five. Must be nice, dude. Dude, if I come back and win, starting out with the dude trade after like losing an 85% roll into like the, the the stretchy reach, I don't even know. Yeah, I'm happy just to be in it though. Like maybe I can get a second place if I don't win. <clears throat> but I want to win. 76 troops. I guess he had four cards, so killing it for the one. Why not? This is... Uh, this is Cray Cray. There's easy breaks on his plus six bonus, but there's no easy breaks on his plus two. Black's going to probably trade and go crazy. Into white and not anything else. I'm going to maybe take this bonus now. My turn to try a bonus. And then I'll give purple a, a, a thumbs up. Make a two and a two, a 29 and a three. I have a uh, artillery and a cavalry, right? Need a dude? <clears throat> Maybe I can hold that bonus. It's a plus three. Maybe I can start holding it and it can be part of my, my repertoire. He's not even going to get to kill the six. He doesn't have anything in here to kill it. Five on six doesn't work. White survives and black is even hurting more. White, oh my god. Okay. Imagine white trades on this six and just, oh my god. No, he doesn't trade, dude. He's going to do this. Give him a thumbs up. Black and white are both on five. Is there a world in which purple kills black? He should. Purple could win the game right now, actually. Purple could kill black into a double trade, into kill white, into a trade, into punch me, and then beat me in the 1v1. He could also feed me black, which would I, I'd love. The problem is now, this one in Croatia is blocking my Bosnia stack. I'd have to come out of reach around through Western Hungary, unless he uses that on black. That's if he feeds me black, right? The alternative is black may feed me white. He's trading. Attack black. Right. I, I mean, I can try asking him to attack black. He's making this a 17. He might not attack anybody. Or he might just hit a 1 with this 9. All purple has to do is just wait. But he could win the game this turn, and he doesn't even know. 97 troops is a lot. Doesn't even take a card. I get my 6, though. Cool. Um, Take a card on this white 1. This a bigger number. Make it an even bigger number. We get a dude? No. Okay. I could have thought about killing white if this six wasn't here. But could have thought about killing black if purple hit black a little bit or this nine wasn't in the way. But all that was not true either. So just doing what I can. Just going to hit that six out. Man, White is so weak. Is he actually going to trade off this one and do a reach around through the six? He could. Blacks, look, this border guard, man. Purple's so strong. Nine. This is the thing that a lot of people don't do in the game when they're newer. They don't see the stats on the right. Open this little left menu up and make sure you have the stats open. 97 troops to 45, so 44, 42, and 36. He is so far ahead. People need to know he's the problem. Takes the card and passes. <laughs> I mean, okay. The, the game ends when purple decides to go apeshit. 
I do have the junk. I, I have the biggest stack on the board. So 108 troops to 43, 42, and 36. I did not think purple was going to be in this position at the start of the game. I didn't. He was suiciding five stacks into four stacks and stuff like that. Like just the craziest blitzes. Give him a thumbs up. I'm sorry I need to hit your territory. I'll just give him a thumbs up. I want to be friends with him. Yep, that's one of my territories. I'm okay if he hits that one. And he hits that one. Does he go to black? No, he goes and breaks my bonus. You didn't have to do that. Oh, now he's sitting in there on purpose. Okay. My bonus is no longer my bonus. Attack my territory if you need to. Well, can't do anything now. There, I got my dude. Black has to hold both bonuses again. I mean, it's not over. Funny enough, I'm like, I'm bigger than white and I'm uh, not much weaker than black. <laughs> And if that goes into white, then uh... he's taking a card and chilling. Okay. I just need whoever takes the attack. Like if he he needs to take attacker's advantage on on purple, if anything. But like he's so far behind, he can't. White's gonna come out here now. I'm going to try to put my stack in this corner and stay in the corner. So if purple does want to try to come kill me, it, he can only do it through one line. So he can't like two smack stash me. Two stack smash me. What the hell did I say? <laughs> okay. I'm sorry I need to hit your territory and then he just sits and it doesn't let me have a bonus anymore. <clears throat> and then tells me I can hit his territory if I need to. Annoying. Black's laughing. Are you laughing at the big boy with the troops? I don't know if that's the play. White's got two stacks guarding his bonus, trusting purple in the back door. Yeah, I'm going to sneak up into here. Where's that? Eastern Hungary. Okay. I do have a trade also. Can I trade and keep Eastern Hungary? I can! Let's go. I could kill white. I could actually just fully kill white. It's like basically 100%. Almost 100% to kill him, but 50 attacking troops into 42. And that would lock me in for third. I would kill white, trade, and then black would do nothing, and then I would uh, purple would double kill us. So if I wanted to lock in third there and I was playing for rank points and that's all I care about, that would work. I want to play for first. I'm not in a great spot, but I want to play for first. And why not? Why not play for first? If these guys at any point team up on purple, purple dies, and I'm looking good. I have the biggest stack on the board. If an opportunity arises, I can capture it. He comes fully out with his stack. <clears throat> now I'm going to do, oh no, what's happening? All right, he's trading for six. Give me a cavalry. Give me a cavalry. Oh, pow! No. Nope. Reach around swing? No. Nope. He makes a big boy stack. Wowzers. Okay. This is okay if these guys get to hold their two bonuses and purple chills, right? Like, okay, so everybody will grow above me, but the thing is, purple won't be so far ahead of everybody. They will start to catch up to him a little bit. At least black will. Or, or they'll stop hemorrhaging the distance between them. Which means purple's advantage over me will be the same, and their advantage over me will grow, but his advantage over them will not grow. Which is better for me. Weirdly enough, I think it's better for me if they get to hold for a little bit. It's way... The, the best case scenario is they actually team up on purple. <laughs> but they have some bad blood, which is a problem. And I obviously can't lead the charge into purple. And... They don't really want to because they're trusted. Oh, purple's going into black. 
and black has a 45 stack. It was only a matter of time until our boy Purple was like, you know what? Fuck you. I don't like you. And I'm like, I like it. I'm still going to stay in this corner. Because this is the... This is the thing. If Purple wants to hit me, he can't go through Croatia or Western Hungary. He can only come through Voivodship of Serbia. Which is one stack and hit me. And he doesn't have a big enough stack to do it. Boom! Boom! Telling white attack purple, giving black a thumbs up. And a heart. Now's the time. Now's the time we turn on the purple boy. Ooh! <laughs> that 30's coming right into black's back door. If white can hit purple right now, the game opens up big time. Like white could do a reach around through the 14, the 17 into the 1. It would be lovely to see. I don't think he does. But I would love to see white jump in. Now look at the troop totals. Oh, your boy's on 56. Purple's on 67. Black's the weakest and white's on 61. I'm right in the mix for the win now. He brings his whole stack out. I do not break him. In no world do I break that. Feeling pretty good. Now purple's going to go right into black. What opportunity do I have if purple and black just collide? None, right? Unless he feeds me black. He'd have to feed me black hard, though, for it to be worth my my while, right? He retakes and chills, doesn't he? Shit. No, he doesn't. It's nice. Black's on 17 and 3. If he does a reach around through the 6, like, he might full feed him. Are just breaking them? Take the whole bonus to the left. Because if he takes the whole bonus to the left, white might feel obligated to go break that. If black dies. To me. No, he doesn't. He just double breaks. I have a feeling he's going to go. I am specific... Oh, he leaves a 16 too. I am specifically not breaking white. I'm going to sit in my corner with a dude. What is that? You just summon it and it will come. I am not using the Eastern Hungary again because I got Dalmatia. Now nah, I'll use it. Black's gonna break this. So he can't break both. He could have if he did different stuff. But that's fine. Does, he knows immediately what he's doing. White already. He's a man with a plan. He added and he went in hard immediately. So is he gonna kill Black? He's gonna kill Black. So he kills black and then trades and then does he go into purple from there? If he does, that'll be neat. Tell purple attack white. Attack white. And then I want to take white's bottom bonus. And hope purple and white fight up here and I'm up on the side. Black's saying oops. Is he going to try? He trapped his stack. He could hit the 16 but he can't do anything else. That sucks. He won't hit the 16 I don't think. <laughs> all right. Don't fortify all the way back. Stay there. He's going to guard this side. Hits this. Why? He's going to fortify all the way back? Bro. Stay. He goes, he's going to... He's thinking about staying here. He likes this bonus more. It's worth more. It's a plus four instead of a three. Okay, good. Give him a thumbs up. Come on. How do we do this? So white stack is trapped. It can't come out through Genoa or Venice or Free States. It can't come through here at all. Unless purple starts taking stuff in here. And... Oh, he breaks him! But that also opens him to come out. Nope. Yeah, if I do the reach around. Shit. It's gonna break him here too. Fuck, I'm just like I, I wanna I wanna contribute and take a bonus, but like he's open to the 43. Unless the 22 stays. It's gonna take this bonus too. 13 on 12? 12 on 10? Oh my god. If this 43 hits the 22, <clears throat> got a chance to win. 
Nobody's a, nobody's communicating with me in Alliance chat, so like, what am I supposed to do? Honestly. White can break this with the 10. Oh, the 22 is still stuck there. I'm gonna use the Eastern Hungary. Oh, white can't hit my stack because of this wall of white. Look at, I've got a full wall of white around me, so he actually can't hit my stack. They both have five cards. 69 stack? Wait, you and I dab on that. <laughs> Getting that dude card in. All right. He trades. He's doing the dude trade on the 43. Get him. 19 on 12. Pow! 43 on 22. Come on. Give it to him. <clears throat> I want to see. I want to see it. What is happening? <clears throat> Sometimes you just gotta chill. Be cool. Hit that 22. Do it. Do as I command you. I'm your master. Yes, my liege. Nah, he doesn't do it. Alright, alright. <clears throat> he did double break the bonuses, though, and he left the 38 with access out. So I... If this purple player doesn't do anything too funky, I'm gonna come down and take this bonus down here. Although I'm I'm completely out of sight, out of mind right now. Eleven on seven happens. If he keeps rolling him, he's gonna be pissed. He doesn't break this bonus though. He can't. Oh, he could actually reach around sweeper. <coughs> Do the reach around sweeper. I would love it if you did. This thirty-eight is still. Oh. <laughs> that thirty-eight collides with a twenty-two, and I can end the game probably. Pretty close to it. Oh. Takes three bonuses. He's coming out, hitting all the white ones. Doesn't open them to me. Alright, I'm playing rather passive right now, but this is the play. No trade, which is fine. I have a 70 stack. And white still can't get me. There's a wall of white. So the only stack I'm semi-scared of can't get me. I would be surprised if he let purple hold all three bonuses. Maybe I should have started swinging there. Well, that's a good hit. The 38 comes out? Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he's coming. He's not letting him hold. He's not going to hit the 17. He'll go around it? Maybe he does. How angry is he right now? Fortify. He lets him hold this. The 37, like, if they both lose 20 troops and go to 35, I do end the game. This being one big stack is annoying. I wish he would. I would almost rather he was 220 stacks. Like purple's 220 stacks, which is better for me. So we've got 66 troops. White says attack purple. Okay. I hit purple, you hit purple. Maybe he wants me to hit. If I hit a number of purple now, I think he's going to smack him good. I think he's ready. <clears throat> so if I hit this purple out of this section, I think he's ready. Keep going. Or bring your 8 to the 17. Or bring your 19 to the 17. I, big stack here. Oh, yeah. I break him too. Yeah, yeah. Piss him off more. Do it. Mm -hmm. That's it. That, that's game. Good game. I can't believe we're going to win this game. I'm already calling it. Don't jinx it, bro. <clears throat> okay. Give him the thumbs up. So, I don't want to... Oh, purple's got the most troops, so... I'm going to help him with purple. Nice and slow. Oh, dice. Our alliance is over. That's fine. That's fine. I'm 
going to leave it like that. I hit purple. Now you trade and punch him, and I win the game. No trade, even. Hits that 12, though. Oh, loses only five. I wish he lost more, because I need them to be a little weaker. <laughs> so the 19 doesn't get hit, which is fine. I have access to the whole board. White's going to be on five cards. Like, I okay, White and I both hit purple together and thumbs up. I, I don't feel a loyalty to White, I'm not going to lie. And he's sitting on five cards. If, if the win is, like, if purple trades, if the win is killing White first, then I take it, right? I need the win. Offer purple and alliance, ask him to hit white. Whatever is easier for me, I'm just going to take the win. I want to win if it's there. If he also doesn't trade, no, if he, then it would be really easy to just kill him and then kill white. <clears throat> Add here. Oh, go through the four. Yeah, well, the 14 only pointed at white, so I like that. Why? Yeah, so here's the thing. I can lose this game if I don't end it right now, right? If they all of a sudden have an alliance where they let each other hold bonuses, I could lose the game. I can win right now. Do I win right now? Should I? Yes. It's a game. It's a war game. Take your goddamn wins when you got them. <clears throat> oh, this is so tasty. Okay, we are going to We've been waiting in the midst to strike. And now we are striking like a viper. Oh, what are these cards? All right. Yeah, whatever. Um, might just end him right now. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I slidered it up. That's fine. Good game, guys. Good game. Well played. And... <laughs> Chicken Alfredo from Barbados coming in clutch. Let's go. We take, we take that W. Good game. Good game. Let's check the ranks out. That was fun. That was good. Good game of Italy. I'm just like sitting in my corner waiting. Opportunity strikes itself. 16 Grandmasters we defeated all in the arena of Italy right now. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Till the end of the video, please subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it. More Risk every single day on this channel. The second channel where I'm playing Catan uh, and uh, Territorial as well. You're welcome to check that out in the description below. But if you want more Risk today, there's some above my head. And until next time, I'll see you later. Until next time, I'll see you later.